Hey, welcome back to the Build a Basement. Today, a special video about filament and problems with filament, specifically wet filament, drying filament, how to dry filament, what it looks like when you don't have dry filament, and finally, what I use to dry my filament and keep everything safe. Nothing. So, would I do this? Maybe. Do I do it? Not that often. Now, if I had a bunch of filament that I wanted to dry all at one time, for whatever reason, maybe. Even the kids don't even understand why you do this. And kids will do nearly anything. We all know that as parents, right? Assuming you have kids. But it's a little odd. It works. It'll get you by. But highly unsuggested. Especially if somebody comes by and turns that up and up to 450 or so. Now I will say it once and I will say it clearly. I highly recommend you not putting your filament in the microwave. Might be something good for Stefan over at CNC Kitchen's trial, right? Who knows? Let's wrap his alley. So that being done, when I say done, I mean I didn't really do this because I don't think it would turn out very well. Now all that being said, microwaves heat up water molecules, so water would be heated up inside the plastic and hopefully would then come out of the plastic. Don't know what to do to the plastic in the end though, so. Again, I did not really do this. Maybe you have. Let me know in the comments down below. All right, finally, we have a method that on the surface seems really stupid. But after thinking about it, I can think of some ways that you could actually make this work. So maybe, maybe I'll try this in the future. Let's see. Whatever you do, do not throw oh, all of your right. filament in a dryer. Dry level, very. Temp. Yep. Let's do it. Now here's the crazy thing about this one is Obviously, I would never, ever, ever do or suggest anybody just throws rolls of filament in a tumbling dryer. 
it's not going to work. You're going to wind up with a mess. Your film is going to get all screwed up. But what if you had a pole or something inside that dryer and you were able to clamp the filament on that pole to keep it steady? Could it work? I think it might. So I gotta be honest when I say, I don't hate this idea. I mean, it's not horrible. So I definitely wouldn't try that one out either, unless you had a plan or you're doing something else. So let's jump right into what I think is a good method and what I think you should all try to do at home. Now we've all seen those small filament dryers that hold one spools or two or three or something like that. And they're meant basically to dry your filament as you're using it. But for long-term storage and things like that, they're not so great. They basically use up a lot of electricity for what they're doing. They're just heaters. They're small heaters. So, from KB3D, I want to introduce the dryer that I use. So this dryer isn't cheap, but it's awesome for what it does. It basically literally dehydrates things and not with heat. It's got a real simple interface on the front. It's got a locking key front and it fits a ton of filament. So as I'm pulling this out, do realize that I have it jammed in there just for presentation here. It's just for the video. I don't keep my filament in here all the time. Well, I do keep it like that a lot of time, but I use it for storage more than I do from feeding. If you wanted to use this for feeding, I'll show that in a few moments. It really fits a ton of filament. I keep all of my PETG, all of my PA, all of my, uh, what else do I keep in there? I keep, basically all my expensive filaments that can easily be hurt by moisture. Um, not so much my ASAs and my ABS, although those as well could definitely go inside of a unit like this, but definitely all those filaments, the carbon fiber filaments I have that, you know, like my ASA carbon fiber I keep in there because it's expensive. Um, my nylon fibers, I, my polycarbonates I keep in there as well. So let me show you where I got this and kind of invite you to go ahead and purchase one as well because right now KB3D is offering a group buy. Now a group buy is an offering where basically a bunch of people pre-order uh, an item and as opposed to Chris over at KB3D ordering it in, having it sit on a shelf or, or, or wherever and having to front the money himself, he allows the public to basically buy it. So when he purchases it, he's not doing it out of pocket. Now, what that does is it allows you to basically get in at a lower price. So as opposed to him trying to make a profit, which includes him, you know, with his overhead for storage, his overhead for the fact that he's putting his money up front before he sells it to somebody, you're in the ground level and you're basically getting it for near the price that he would get it from if he was buying it to sell it to you directly. So right here, I decided I wanted to show what it looks like if you decide to use this filament dryer as a spool feeder. And you can fit five on a single holder inside of this dryer. Now five's not a ton, but for your specific filaments that you really want to keep dry, it's a good way to do it. But here's the tricky part, or the fun part is the fact that on top of the five that you could have inside of this thing to keep dry, you can still put a ton inside of this thing and still have those things spinning freely. And I'm gonna go ahead and show that real quick. And the first thing we're gonna do is put that PA6 carbon fiber, huge roll I got right back in there. And then we're gonna stack it back up with a bunch of stuff. And let's see what we get to.
So that's the total. Seven on the bottom plus five on the feed allows you to fit a total of 12 inside of this unit. That's not too shabby considering. And on top of all that, it's got a locking key mechanism so that you can keep everything stored in there and not worry about somebody coming by and just messing with it. All right, I don't want to get too far into it, but this thing is super simple to use. You pretty much set your humidity level and forget it. That's it. It uses a peltier mechanism in the back, which is kind of like a solid state heat pump. It makes it slightly cooler and warmer and that cooler side gets condensate on it. The condensate then gets moved to the outside of the unit and the inside of the unit stays nice and dry. Now, that being said, it does not dry super quick. This isn't the type of unit that you take an extra wet roll of filament and throw it in to dry it out on. You could do that, but it might take a day or two to get to that point. This is the unit that you put your filaments in that you wanna use or you wanna keep dry over a long period of time. And depending on where you live, you know, you could live in the desert, you don't need this. If you live someplace where it's humid all year round, you definitely need something like this. Now, if you live in the Northeast of the United States like I do, it just started getting humid. And that's kind of why I'm making this video because my plastics were starting to get stringy. So let's loop back to the beginning of this whole thing and kind of talk about that for a quick moment. You might've gone through all of your tuning on your printer. You might've done everything to the nines, but if you're starting with bad filament or filament that's not properly dried, you're going to get horrible prints. It's not worth your time, effort, or money to waste your filament on horrible prints. So I suggest you make a small, maybe not so small, but you make an investment to keep your filament safe. If you're into the hobby, if you like using ASA, ABS, PETG, polycarbonate, or any of those plastics, nylon, especially nylon, you need something to keep your filament dry unless you're in the desert. Hey, that's the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to make. It's one of the first videos where I put a bunch of production into it uh, in terms of editing and whatnot. So definitely leave comments down below if you enjoyed it uh, as much as I did. And beyond that, again, I thank you if you're a subscriber. If you're not, I welcome you to become one. I want to thank all the members on the channel. I want to thank you for watching the video and I hope I see you next time. See you later.